Today, let's take a look inside the X64 jet blower and see if I can fix it. A quick reminder, I've got two problems. The blower doesn't charge, the button is stuck at the very end and won't release. First, we need to open it up. When dealing with budget electronics from places like AliExpress, the biggest challenge is figuring out how to disassemble them without breaking anything. There are usually no instructions online, and these devices aren't exactly designed with maintenance in mind. At first glance, the fan's casing seemed solid, with no clear way to take it apart, but after a closer inspection, I noticed a small gap where the fan connects to the handle. With some careful prying using a screwdriver, I managed to open it up, but be careful here. All the plastic parts are 3D printed, and they're prone to cracking under pressure. Unfortunately, a small piece did crack, but it's nothing major. So, what's inside? The motor speed controller is a pretty advanced piece of equipment. Full power is always present at this board and it uses a small variable resistor as the button for speed control, which sends a signal to the board. By the way here, we can see our stuck button, second issue. Since the fan responds to the button, this part seems to be functioning well. Here we go, first catch. The battery connection looks a little bit melted, nothing really bad, so I will leave it. Now we got to the charging PCB. Nothing unusual so far, so why not apply voltage to it and check the output? Voltage applied, multimeter shows nothing at the output. That confirmed it's faulty. At the bottom of the handle, there's an assembly containing the batteries and a battery management system, or BMS, for protection. Let's go further. Did you notice that the DC power socket is wired with thick wires directly to the BMS PCB? This means the blower can actually be charged directly by applying voltage to this port. What a surprise. Nowhere was this mentioned in the manual or rather the complete lack of a manual. Even worse, the socket was hidden under a plastic cover, making it far from obvious. Why can't our Chinese friends include a proper manual with detailed instructions? It would definitely provide a much better experience for users. Now it's time to confirm if the charging PCB is the only faulty component. The blower has four 21700 Li Eon batteries connected in series. Each battery is 3.7 volts, giving a total rated voltage of 14.8 volts. These batteries connection is a 4S configuration, so the charging voltage is 16.8 volts. I'll use my variable voltage source to apply 16.8 volts directly to the port. Let's see what happens. Moment of truth, power up and see that it charges, but it takes 100 milliamperes. That is not right. Turn off and take the battery assembly out, and here we go, second faulty component, this BMS PCB. As we examined all parts, now armed with info, I found the right parts on AliExpress. This is a charging PCB and this is battery management system PCB. Those by the way look pretty close to what I had in the fan. Let's give AliExpress jet blower original parts. Hit order and started waiting. While waiting for the replacement part, I tackled the stuck button. Thinking about how it was put together, I found that the only way to take off a PCB with a variable resistor, with a little force, was to simply click off releasing the button. The variable resistor worked smoothly, but the 3D printed button was sharp with uneven edges. Using 400 grid sandpaper, I smoothed out the edges. It worked better, but it did not completely solve my issue. Thinking further, I noticed that the back wall of the assembly was crooked causing additional resistance. After filling the side, it was almost perfect. Wait a minute, I almost forgot the magic touch, a little bit of WD-40, and look how smoothly it slides now. With the replacement parts ordered, be sure to subscribe to catch the final assembly and testing. Let's see if I can actually bring this jet blower back to life. 